Hands on your lap. Focus your eyes and attention here. Take a gentle breath. Hold. And as you let out, breathe normally. Everybody, sleep. Because some of you will have numbers. This person I'm touching is number one. So go over here. This person I'm touching is number two. They're all so good. Oh my gosh. Uh, we got a number three. We got a number four. We got a number five. That'll be good. When I count from one to five, all of you will be wide awake. You five who have received numbers, you will look down on the floor and you will see a cute, sweet, but unfortunately, gravely wounded Tickle Me Elmo. And at that moment, you five will realize that you can resuscitate him because you are members of the ER emergency response team. And you have skills. You know mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. You know chest compressions. You know how to use defibrillating paddles, which look curiously like shoes. And when I count from one to five, all of you will be wide awake and you will resuscitate Elmo until I say the words, what the heck? Or what the heck is going on? At which point you will come to with no idea what you've been doing or how you got there. When I count from one to five, wide awake. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my gosh, Elmo is in peril. Do you know what to do? All right, try it. Clear the airway. Clear the airway. Oh, go, go, go. Clear, clear, clear. Is he breathing? Go, 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 go. Did it do it? Did you feel a pulse? Feel for a pulse. Do you feel a pulse? Breathe, breathe, breathe. I, I, she doesn't even know where Elmo is, does she? Breathe, breathe. Mouth to mouth. That's the secret. What the heck? What the heck is going on? Wide awake. Have a seat, make yourself comfortable. Oh. <laughs> now let me focus your eyes and attention on the tip of my finger. Because the moment that finger points you right in the eyes, it's lights out. Focus, concentrate. Because <laughs> we have reached the part of the show that I call post-hypnotic suggestions. And this is where the things will happen, won't happen on stage, they're going to happen out there with all of you. And all of these people are going to get different missions. So, uh, for example, this person I'm touching on the head is number one, and this person I'm touching on the head is number two, and this person is officially number three. These three listen carefully to the following mission. Um, I'm pointing to a guy with his hand on his chin. Can you tell me what the school team name is? Lions. Good. Because you three are now the official Lions cheerleaders. From this moment forward, anytime you hear me and only me say the word St. Viator or refer to any way to St. Viator High School, you will stand up and you will give the new Lions cheer. It will go like this. You will stand up. You will pound one fist in the air. Then you will shout, Go Lions! Making a little claw motion in the air as you say, So it's stand up, one pom-pom, Go Lions, Row! and then you will sit back down. That will happen every time that I, and only I, say the word St. Viator. This person that I'm touching on the head, and only this person. If ever you hear or see three people stand up, not however many people stand up and shout, Go Lions, and give that cheer, you will realize that they were having fun. And having fun is wicked, it is evil, it is illegal. And you will not let them get away with it. Oh, no, no, not you. In fact, you're going to stand up the moment they have completed that cheer, the moment they sit back down, and you are going to scold them with your snobbiest and snottiest sounding voice using these precise words. We are not amused. Any other women on stage who have not received instructions, these are your instructions. Whenever you hear me and only me utter the word red, you're going to realize that the chair you are sitting in has become instantaneously red hot. You're going to jump out of it with a resounding shriek and look for someplace much, much cooler to sit. Men, listen carefully. This person I'm touching is one, this person I'm touching is two, this person is three, this person is four, this person is five, this person is six. You six, listen carefully to this sound. So I'm going to need you to help me. I'm going to start my hand low. We're going to raise it up. And as I do, I'm going to want you to make a drumming sound. We want to make this reasonably loud, feet on the floor, hands on your knees, whatever it takes. We're going to raise it to a crescendo together, and then we are going to cut it off together. So a practice session. Let's try to start and stop together and a little louder. Perfect. Those six volunteers who just received numbers, listen to this sound. No matter where you are, whenever you hear this sound, 
You're going to realize that you're in the army now and you're stuck behind enemy lines and those are enemy choppers. <laughs> but you're not going to let them get you, no. Because you're a commando. You're like Rambo. You have machine guns, grenade launchers, and you're going to stand up to fire off your machine guns. Lob your, machine, your grenade. Fire your rocket launcher until that sound comes to a stop, at which point you will come to with no idea what you've been doing or how you got there. But every time you hear this sound, you're going to fight them off again. Every other guy on stage who has not received a mission, listen carefully to this. At some point, you are going to hear classical music play. And when you hear that classical music play, you are going to realize at that moment that you are prima ballerinas and your lifelong dream has been to dance. And you're going to stand up and you're going to begin to dance. You'll plie, you'll pirouette, you'll demi-plie, you will trip the light fantastic. Now at first that music will start very loose and melodic, but it will change. It will change to the William Tell Overture, which is dun 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 The moment it changes, you will no longer be ballerinas. No, no, no. The moment it changes, you will be cowboys. You will immediately mount your horse, and you will gallop one complete revolution around this room shouting, hi -oh, Silver! Until that sound comes to a stop, at which point you will come to with no idea what you've been doing or how you got there. By the way, when I, have, when I do play the music, I'm going to have you just crank it. All my volunteers, you have special missions. Go over them in your mind right now. See yourself performing them. See yourself doing them as you hear your task. Because when you hear your special word, your special sound, you will immediately perform that task. When I count from one to five, all of you be wide awake. You're going to have your eyes open. You're going to feel fantastic. You're going to remember that you took off your shoes, some of you, and you left them on the stage. And when I send you back into the audience, you're going to make certain that you take to the audience everything that you brought up with you. When I count from one to five, welcome back. One, two, three, four, five, wide awake. Well, folks, thank you so much for coming up. I have to apologize, we ran out of time. We couldn't get started with the hypnosis show. The pre-talk just took too long. I do apologize. I'm gonna have the audience in a minute give you some applause. And when they do, that will be your cue to go back to wherever you were sitting in the audience. I noticed that some of you took off shoes, maybe brought other things up there with you. So as you head back to the crowd, be sure that you gather all your belongings and take them with you. So once you hear that applause, that's your cue. Folks, let's give it up for our helpers. Grab your stuff, head on back, keep it going for them. We want them to feel really, 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 really good. Thank you. Now we're going to give them a few minutes to come back to the crowd. Maybe you can pull some lights up for me just a little bit if that's possible. Where's um, Kurt? So I've got a few things I want to say before we go. We're going to be wrapping up the show here in a little bit. But the, the number one thing I want to do is I really want to thank all of the parents and chaperones and everybody who works so hard, faculty members as well, to pull all of this together. You have no idea how hard they work on your behalf. So let's, let's show some love for them. I do want them to feel really good. And I just want to say what an honor it is because as I got introduced, hey. you know, they had said, how many years have you been coming here? I think it's been close to 20 years and I'm excited. I just love coming back. St. Viator is Kurt. probably... Oh God, Thank you so much. It is so embarrassing. I appreciate it. You know what happens when they do stuff like that? My face just turns red like you would not believe. I'm sorry, are these seats uncomfortable? Just go find someplace cooler over there. Anyway, thank you all of you students graduating from St. Viator. It is... We are not immune. Thank you. I appreciate that. Anyway. Uh, I don't know if you can tell this, your face has turned red too, just bright red. Now, we've all been sitting in one place for a really long time. I think it's important for us to get that blood pumping, so friends, let's make some noise together. And How did that go? Because the blood, it just pools, doesn't it? Eric hit the back, bro. I was asked to give a special section of the show over to music appreciation. And I don't mean like regular, you know, rock, rap, country, because frankly, your parents think that's all you listen to. Zero, your arms too. 
So I, I'm going to play just a little bit, and we'll crank this as loud as we can. Let's just try to get it going. Because I want you to know what classical music does to lift your spirit. It just, it makes you feel good inside. Frankly, there's nothing like the classics. But sometimes, classics feel different. comfortable to sit. Doesn't matter where. Sit up straight, hands on your lap. Elbows nice and relaxed. All of you, focus your eyes and attention right here on the very tip of my finger. Because the moment it drops, you'll carefully, gently, always keep in track of your own personal safety, sleep. Because we have come to the end of the show. <laughs> When I wake you up, every suggestion that has been given to you will be gone, completely vanished like a fading cloud. You may remember everything that happened to you, you may remember nothing, but the one thing you'll remember is what an incredible time you had volunteering for our show here tonight. If ever anybody asks you about it, you'll say, I had a wonderful time volunteering for the show, and please visit his website, ChristopherCarter.com. Now, every suggestion will be gone except this. The next time and only the next time you hear me and only me say my name, Christopher Carter. At that moment, you will leap to your feet, will pound one fist in the air, and you will shout, He's great! Having done that, every suggestion will be gone. One, you begin to feel energy returning into your body, and you're going to wake up with more energy than you have had in weeks and weeks. And two, that energy begins to lift you up into your chair. It radiates through the top of your head and down your arms. Oh, three, goodness. to the very tips of your fingers. Four, your eyes are opening and you're feeling wonderful, fantastic, and five, everybody wide awake. And all my volunteers, just wave your hand so I know you guys are good, because friends, they really are the stars. Give it up for them. Yeah, that's Kurt. That's Kurt. Kurt, Kurt. Kurt. my bad, Kurt. My name is Christopher Carter. And that is the end of the show. Thank all of you so much. I want Kurt! I want Kurt! Where'd he go, Kurt? Let's hear it for Christopher Carter!